Um, I'm a, I'm a lot like some of you. When you meet somebody new, I, I get nervous. I'm a, I'm shy. shy person. He says to a, a room of 65 people all looking at it. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, I'm in survival mode right now, so that's that's what that is. Explains that. So you know, I don't often introduce myself to people I, in myself. God, can you imagine that? How awful would that be if I introduce myself to you? Like, oh, no. This has become the most uncomfortable night of my life. Multiple personalities. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, just, the, just the one, just me. So I don't often introduce myself to people I don't know. But one time I made an exception. I was, uh, I was at this coffee shop, and this guy was uh, sort of taking my order. He was having a conversation with his buddy uh, back in the kitchen. And he said, he goes, uh, Alien versus Predator? You're watching Alien versus Predator? If I was sitting in a swivel chair, and that movie was playing behind me, I would not swivel to watch the movie. And I thought, well, that's funny. I mean, because everyone loves to swivel. And he wouldn't swivel to watch that movie. Oh. It's just, it's fine until I said that's funny. Oh, well, thanks. Pity claps. It's, it's just terrible when you say that's funny and everyone's like, maybe that works for you, man, but that, I didn't really catch that one. I loved Alien vs. Cutty. You kidding me? That was the best one of all of them. Uh, so, he came over to me later, uh, he brought me my drink, and I said, I sort of initiated a conversation with this guy. Because he seemed really cool and funny. And we started talking, and um, all of a sudden, he proved me wrong. And, and, and this cool guy became so many sort of terrifying. Um, we're talking, and he's like telling me he's in this band, and he's talking about his band. And, uh, they sound pretty cool, and we're chatting, and then he goes, Hey, hey, this is my man. Like, this conversation was going about how I expected it to go. And you are very weird. That, this is an odd moment. I don't know what to say here. And he's just looking at me, and he's like, smiling. And he's like, this is my man. And I, I'm looking at the little, like, the little finger man that he's just introduced me to. And I'm... Like, I have no training for this moment. Like, I don't know what I don't know what to do in this moment. I'm like, maybe I can hear over the music. I don't know. But, but, but he wants me to meet this man. And this is, can I crawl into the ground? I mean, this is an awful moment. And I'm just staring at him, speechless. And, and, he, and, and thank God. Because he says it a third time. He goes, this is my band. And he's playing at a speaker. Over our heads, this is his band is playing. We're in the coffee shop, this is his band, and I'm just like, oh my god, like what a relief. Like, you are not the weirdo that I thought you were. What's really interesting about that story is I was, all of that anxiety that I felt at this strange person in my space, I was about to transfer all of that onto him. Because I was a half a second away from going, Hello! 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 Because what do you, what do, you do in that moment? He's it's probably got tiny eardrums, so you have to speak high, so... Hello! Hello! Maybe like, oh, nice to meet you! It becomes Irish, and you're like, oh, I'm, not, I'm talking in Irish to the to the man, maybe it's more Scottish. Wait, what do you mean? You're talking to the man, and then he's just looking at me. So thank God that did not happen. Guys, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I guess I would just leave you with this. Enjoy fun. <laughs>
comedian from a town that I can't even fucking pronounce. Actually, I probably could, I just can't even fucking remember. Uh, Abby Waring! anybody who hasn't forayed into the area of alternative health and healing that massage can be. And my first piece of advice is that people who give massages are called massage therapists, which, thank you, which can be shortened to therapist, but you can't, as my friend here said, cannot shorten that to masseuse, because calling a massage therapist a masseuse is pretty much like calling him or her a whore. Dirty! Yeah. And with two years of schooling under my belt, I'm not a whore! Thank you. <laughs> now that we have that. I can go on to my second piece of advice. Two pieces of advice. My second piece of advice is that when you go to get a massage, yes, it is fine to take off your underwear. If you go redhead, that's a fine thing to do. I know. It can be very confusing. You know, your calm centered massage therapist comes into the room and says, Namaste. I'm going to leave the room and you can disrobe to your comfort level and sit under the top sheet. No. Do you get to that disrobe to your comfort level? That's the important part here, because that is one of a number of vague and ridiculous phrases that I learned in massage school. That's really only power is to bring you to battle with your personal demons at really very inappropriate moments. You know, you're, well, another one of those phrases, for the record, is massage is very modest. We only unbreak one body part at a time. Which body part? <laughs> Anyway, so you're in the room by yourself, you take off your shirt, your pants, your socks, and there's this inevitable moment where there's your fingers on your elastic of your underwear. Disrobe to my comfort level. Huh. And in swoops the first demon, the de demon of neurotic overanalysis. <laughs> Disrobe to my comfort level. I was actually plenty comfortable with all of my clothes on. <laughs> And I wonder, does she mean my physical temperature comfortable or my like emotional comfortable without my clothes on? Because those are not necessarily the same thing. I'm not sure what to do To save you at that moment, in swoops the next yeah, demon, the demon of save your ego. Which is like, I can do this. I've totally been naked before. It was like the late 90s, you know, I was skinny to think, I had a lot to drink. I think it was the new moon, there wasn't really a lot of light that night, but... <laughs> and then as your head is about to blow up at that point, it speaks the third demon, the worst demon of all, the demon of my own junior high sexuality. Not the demon that you want to contend with again. If I don't take off my underwear, is she going to tell everybody that I'm a prude? But if I do, is she going to think that I think she's a masseuse? <laughs> so you see, if the point of a massage is to relax, you've gotten yourself on a bad road. <laughs> my advice, take them off, fling them off, put them on your head, dance around, whatever you have to do. 